Hello, and this is what if, uh, I mean, London Silver, and this is what if Deku was in the SCP Foundation AU of the Dream SMP. Let's get back and started. So, last time, uh, uh, Izuku was walking to his apartment. Let's get started. This is still his POV, so let's do this also go follow my twitter it's london silver one uh one two two five just it's the same thing as my channel so you can just follow me on twitter if you don't have twitter you can go on google or safari and uh go on mobile twitter or just put in twitter and then i'll go to this uh site where you can sign up or log in so you can have mobile twitter and you don't even have to need the app. I don't even have the app, and I use mobile Twitter. You may not get email, I mean, notifications right away, but you can always check it. Okay, let's get into this. I get into, my, into the apartment and see my roommates watching in the main room. I then made my way to the couch and the, that they were sitting on and said, What are you watching? I turned to Ray. Ray is an ex-veteran of the army and left honorably and stays in contact with the government he says we were trying to find something to watch what uh wait don't you have work i say i'm off today so i'm going to relax inside my on my side of the apartment ray says oh well have a good day i say thanks i walked to my room and took a nap i then got right i then got get my stuff from a long time friend i grabbed my stuff walked out the door only said bye to my roommates and i walked down to a warehouse and said hello i stood there for a while before saying before so they came out and said midoriya i ran up to them and said hey you got my stuff they say yeah they take out out two cases, moderately big and the other one moderately smaller. I say thanks and make my way back to the apartment and go back to my side of the apartment. I decided to do something I haven't done in a long time. I then grabbed my violin and just myself into my into a position. Fun fact, I played violin for six years and still have it in my closet. I played for three hours before getting tired and putting it in my desk on my desk and look at the window hearing the rain outside and i see a crow seems to be too focused on me to be a normal crow i open the window and the crow came in and went on my shoulder i then remembered the crow crows in phil's file i guess they kept an eye on me or maybe there's something here for something else i wonder why the crow then rubs its head on my cheek and i rubbed its beak it was quiet and just flew around the room and hung out. It was nice. Then another bug came in, and like I, it was communicating with the other that came in my room. The other then left. I was a bit confused about the exchange, but just that Phil was checking up on me and continued with my day of relaxing. I flopped on my bed and took out my phone on the side of the table. I then saw an email from the foundation about my work day tomorrow which I didn't mind since I got a day off. They, didn't e they then emailed me my schedule. It seemed I had another SCP, but I would visit Phil and Tubbo again. I'm pretty sure his husband and Michael. And a second, I thought about the breach and interaction with SCP-DR34M, or Dream. But now, he was requesting me. They didn't accept it since he is not allowed to have visitors since the breach, is what I've heard. The thought of being in a room with it or him terrified, frightened me to the bone. I grabbed my arms to stop them from shaking. SCP DR 34M is very dangerous and has killed numerous personnel, but the only people that are for sure not getting hurt is Researcher George and SCP. S4P and 4P. I got my sh together, and when the crow landed on my shoulder, I patted its head and says, Thank you. 
I shook myself to get rid of the feeling of dread and sighed to myself and got up, make some, make some food for myself and get my mind off of the memory that flew around my head. I walked through the kitchen and started cooking. After cooking my food, I sat down and ate. Even though I had got over the memory of SCP DR34M, the feeling of dread never left, lingered and intensified as if someone was watching me. I locked the windows and doors and put up the curtains and to hopefully help the feeling. It calmed me down, but there was still a feeling that lingered, but not that as much. I then went to my room and get one of my guns and lay down, expecting something to come out the dark of the corner, but I then slowly went to sleep, but still on edge. I woke up ne- the next day, but it was early, about seven o- uh, 5.07, so I just decided to go early so I could get off early too. I took a shower and left, got ready, the same feeling of dread fell on me when I stepped out the door, but slowly washed away. I got to my small office and looked at my schedule for today and read off it. Visit for today, SCP PH1LZ4, SCP R4N00, SCP P M one C H three four one and S C P T zero M M one and N one T. I smiled while visiting Phil and Tubbo, Rambo and Michael. Since they were visiting each other, it was easier. I went to the familiar face of S C P. T zero M M one N N one T or Tommy. I walked into a wide containment that was outside and very large dome. I see a teen that resembled Filza. I say, Hello Tommy, how are you? The boy looked at me and over to me and said, I'm fine, but what are you doing here? I say, I'm visiting I'm visiting for a while, so anything you want me to show to show me or anything you want to talk about? He looked at me and said, Well, he sounded uncomfortable with my calm demeanor and voice before I remembered something. I put on some ears, some glasses, and turned to the recorder thing. I pressed it. It turned on the sound of an Animal Crossing character talking while I write pretty fast, I wrote. Tommy in it. Could I ask a request of you? His demeanor towards me changed. Animal? Under his breath, he said, Animal Crossing? I hit recorder and write, Yeah? He said, oh, what's the blue crest? I hit it again and write, could you find me some marigolds and blueberries for me? I want to make some stuff with them. Tommy nodded and walked away. I found it cute and giggled a bit and then got some other stuff for when he came back. I sit down on a log and wait for his arrival. He came back with a basket of blueberries and marigolds. The basket seemed to be vines and a bit of wood. I smiled and grabbed the book the board and write and hit recorder thank you tommy as a reward i i'll let uh let me make some blueberry muffins or pie if you would like tommy then says yeah anything is fine i smiled and get the bag out and set up set up a kitchen like setup he looks at me in amazement and make shit and it's a makeshift kitchen I then make blueberry muffins with the help of Tommy and shared them. Putting everything away with some interactions in the middle, I ate some and Tommy eats some. Then the speaker near the door says, Your visit has ended. Please exit the containment room. I look at Tommy and pat his head, then hit recorder and write, Bye, Tommy. See you next time. He hugs me and I hug back and wave goodbye. He does too, and I walk out. Honestly, it was cute at how childish he was, even if he didn't like me at first. I then am approached by Technoblade. He seemed to pull me into a private room. What does he want from me? Wait, Technoblade. Isn't he from the Last Hope group? Technoblade's Techno says, You have a connection with Felza and Tommy, right? I say, yeah. Since you have become important to them, I might as well tell you. 
don't come on the 16th also because you're not like others here in this place on the 16th isn't that in a month or so wait does he know i should be cautious he then walked away i walked to my office and looked at some files and finally found his and read them scp T three H H N zero B L four D three. SCP Technoblade is a th- six two male, but seems to be a pig. But explained is a piglin, though. We do not see any creature in this place. Pl- place in the world. But we can only assume that it is some sort of pig-related creature. SCP Technoblade has joined the group called Last Hope for Anomalies to fight, protect, and work under the SCP Foundation. He was found standing above piles of bodies and that he soon after confirmed he had killed. He is able to summon weapons that seem to come out from different a different dimension. He is able to make these potions that seem to make infinite possibilities. He has long, straight pink hair, ruby red eyes, tusks that come from his mouth, which give him a slight speech impediment, or lisp, but does not show that much. He can turn into a piglin creature, but only when enraged or in a sad state. He has told researchers' staff that he has voices that ask for blood, and say never to stop, and they never stop, so we we have assigned him two frontline missions for him to go not to go wild on the site oh that they seem something important must be happening on that day but why would someone as important as him care i mean i'm not that important is he something to fill And then he cares for me because I'm associated with Phil? Well, that's something we asked later. I I looked outside and see it's getting dark fast. I pick up my stuff and head out back to my apartment. I'm followed by one of Phil's crows and sits on my shoulder and caws. I rub his beak and continue to walk to my apartment. I get back and take off my shoes and my jacket. I went to take a shower, then walked to my room, and flop on my bed, and slowly went to sleep. Okay, this is part three? I'm pretty sure. Part three? Yeah, part three. So, I am doing... Let me see. So, I'm working on What If Deku Was Technoblade, and I only have three pages. I'm sorry. But, okay, then we have the secret one I wasn't gonna uh, say, but what if Deku was the prince of Atlantis, and Atlantis, the build that uh, Filza did uh, in the end, and named it Atlantis, what if Deku was Mono, I'm still doing the headcanons even Though it, I haven't even started on the actual story. Do forgive me. Uh, and a new one I'm doing. Because I'm hypocritical. But. I've done a lot. In only two days. And I'm almost done with part one of this. So I'm just going to say. What if Deku. This is what if Deku was. Gosper slash Wilbur, Glatt slash Slat, Schlatt, and Ghost in it slash Tommy in it. So, yeah, he is Gosper slash Wilbur, Glatt slash Slat, Schlatt, and Ghost in it, and Tommy in it. So, this is, like, in between, like, in their timeline, we're, like, this is where Tommy died and was 
stuck in the afterlife for two months but is only like two days so this is like in between those two days I'm almost done with it so uh well uh this is sort of the end uh have a good day night afternoon morning and have a swell like a week or something just have a good one